Hello, this is Dr. Amrita and you are listening to the Health Well Bridge podcast. Make room for what you love and the science of decluttering. It's a book by Melissa Michels of the inspiredroom.net. I have been a big fan of her blog for a very long time. This is the book which made me realize how much clutter can really weigh you down. The steps in this book help me uncover the barriers behind the loss of productivity that I was facing back then. This is the book which has the secret behind managing it all. My favorite quote from the book was your outer world influences how you feel inside. External chaos is an indication of inner chaos. How you care for your home and the things in it influences your life deeply. It silently affects the decisions you take. So think carefully each time you invite a person, buy a new thing or have a new thought. Will it produce order or disorder? Three simple truths and powerful habits from the book. If you keep a little piece of random something, it becomes a clutter magnet. Have simple rules about what to keep and what to give away. Give everything a location. Ask yourself in your mind, order or disorder? This is what Melissa said. I really like this tip a lot. The system should be easy to keep up with and enjoy. There will always be unwelcome things trying to take control of your heart, mind, soul and the physical surroundings. But what you allow is your choice. There are many more such tips in the book and you should give it a read if you really want to get clutter out of your mind and your home. My favorite thought from the book was, make a home filled with grace. She also said a lot about clutter magnets. We have all faced this problem of random keys, coins, screws accumulating on small trays meant to display pretty trinkets. Melissa suggests you either find a home for them immediately. If not immediately, there may be a week. This is kind of flexible where what to do with them, but you have to get them in order. If you have not used these keys by the designated time, maybe you have to throw it away. Think carefully. Even DIY projects, be careful about having more and more scrap papers, scrap cloth, extra threads. Everything grows when you just dump it. Super tip, clutter grows, but if you keep at it, it's not so bad. Just keep trimming at it. So what do you like? Order or disorder? If you do remember one thing from this book, it should be these two words. Order or disorder? This is not exactly something new, but somehow together they will sound like a buzz in your mind every time you decide to keep hanging on to a clutter magnet. Your home is always going to be a work in progress. It's never done. But it should always move forward in the spectrum of order. We can strive to get that cloth folded, that extra cup stored away. You really don't need 20 cups hanging all over the kitchen for your morning cup of coffee. Just have those which you really like and put the rest away. A line that made me laugh. There's a place for undies which I wouldn't be ashamed to be seen in should the fire department have to rescue me. Every time you put down something, ask yourself, will this create order or disorder? Decluttering is never done. It's a work in progress and life gets in the way. A home filled with grace is a beautiful home. This powerful concept elevates Melissa's book from its home decor niche to an absolutely different level. But what exactly is grace? Thoughtfulness towards others, a pleasing appearance or effect. Grace is something you have and your home has from the little things that you do to keep it in order, to make it comfortable and cozy for your family. The book gives you a long list of questions to ponder over which helps you get going in the right direction. Some questions that you can think about. What colors feel energizing or soothing to you? Ivory, pastel shades, cool colors, or brighter summer tones. What kind of settings bring you peace? Green puns and less stuff or something else? 
What is the most frustrating part of your home? Less storage, the random organizing or that it's a rental? The psychology of decluttering says a clutter-free environment helps avoid decision fatigue. Decision fatigue is a psychological condition where mental exhaustion and diminishing productivity occurs due to making too many decisions. The key is to have just the right amount of stuff, to love the home you have. Interesting checklists to help you decide what should be invited into your home include Ask yourself, do you have space to display this new thing that you are buying? What happens if it breaks down? Can you get this done with what you have? By creating order out of chaos, you do create peace. Through wisdom, a house is built. Through understanding, it is established. This was one of the proverbs that Melissa shared on her book cover. My takeaway from the book, always have specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time limited, that is smart goals. Let go of perfect solutions. Get work done with the time, money and resources you have now. When you create order and out of order, you have peace. If you create chaos, that's not going to be easy to create peace out of. Live life beautifully. Have a home filled with grace. What do you do to decrease the chaos around you? As I read the book, I underlined the words in my head and also highlighted them because it was an e-book. Melissa has written about certain truths we all know about without ever sounding preachy or boring. I love plants, I love flowers and I love growing edible plants. But sometimes when it gets a little too much, I just step back and think about what makes me really, really happy. I have realized seeing green everywhere makes me really happy, but I have to balance a green home with a realistic goal. How many can I plant and take care of without gardening feeling like another core? That's the benchmark gardening is for your health and spirit. It should make you feel happy and content, not worried and always working. That's right. You have to read this book to get the entire gist that works for you. This was the part which worked for me and I have shared with you. Make Room for What You Love is a wonderful book by Melissa Michels and you should definitely read it if you want to have a clutter-free, calm, graceful home. When you declutter outside, you do have more peace to work with. Decluttering has signs backing it. Clutter is actually a sign of fear. Fear of letting go, fear of regret, fear of the what if. Too much clutter is not only about your stuff, it's actually about how your brain is wired. Keeping stuff and not using it is inability to make decisions. This can actually be a red flag for underlying mental health issues like depression, OCD and ADHD. Not that a little bit of clutter is not in all of our homes, but a lot of it which gives you serious headache if you are told to throw them away, that's a cause for worry. What clutter does to you? Clutter causes an increase in your stress levels. It decreases your ability to concentrate. It makes you unhappy. It affects your ability to think positively. But do you all have a problem? Not really. A bit of chaos may help spark creativity, but a lot of the stuff pulling at your brain can hamper your ability to think tangentially. So when is the clutter too much clutter and borderline hoarding when throwing away gives you palpitations, extreme anxiety and sleeplessness that needs help. So which part of your brain do you need looking into? That's the orbitofrontal cortex. That part of your brain is involved in decision making and is responsible for the physical response hoarders feel. The good news? You have cognitive behavioral therapy to help rewire your brain's thinking pattern if you are facing such physical symptoms when you are told to throw away stuff. Your home is your sanctuary. To declutter and keep it clutter free is a journey. To live beautifully with things you love, you need to let go of things. Which Reading Melissa's book is like talking to an old friend. A friend who knows something is troubling you even when you don't tell her about it. It's decluttering therapy. Just like mindfulness protects against the ill effect of multitasking, 
uncluttered clean spaces help your brain concentrate and makes you more productive i recommend this book for all the moms struggling to keep up with the ever increasing needs of their growing families and now in this situation it's more work for the entire family so you really need to have a system moms who know a bit of clutter is inevitable with young children but still want to keep some semblance of order will find a lot of useful tips in this book anybody who wants to be more productive in their home or work will have certain tips to fall back on when they go through this book why i love this book it has actually motivated me enough to not only read the book write the summary and then clean my home one drawer at a time melissa's book has grace i have realized i too want to live with grace and that means getting order out of the chaos this was dr amrita and you are listening to the health well bridge podcast this podcast is brought to you by health well bridge and i am dr amrita ENT surgeon based in Kolkata thank you so much for listening